Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa Teo from the Division of Surgical Oncology at the National Cancer Centre, Singapore. In this video, I will be sharing with you a little bit about peritoneal tumours. The peritoneum is a thin membrane that lines the abdominal and pelvic cavities. It covers the external surface of most of the abdominal organs. Peritoneal tumours refer to a wide variety of cancers that may involve the peritoneum or even some of the abdominal organs. This includes the spleen, large and small intestines, stomach, liver, and the pelvic organs. For most cases of peritoneal tumours, tumours often spread to the peritoneal lining due to ovarian cancer, carcinoma of the appendix or PMP, which is a group of peritoneal tumours frequently associated with an appendiceal tumour, colorectal cancer, stomach cancer, pancreatic cancer and gallbladder cancer. In some cases, peritoneal tumours may arise from the peritoneum because of malignant mesothelioma and primary peritoneal cancer. Often, patients with peritoneal tumours do not exhibit any symptoms. However, some may experience abdominal pain, abdominal swelling or bloating, change in bowel habits such as recurrent diarrhea or constipation, bleeding when passing motion or bleeding from the vagina, masses in the abdomen, unexplained weight loss, and vomiting. In most cases, patients only learn they have peritoneal tumours through blood tests and scans. If peritoneal tumours are found, your case will be comprehensively assessed by a multidisciplinary tumour board consisting of surgical oncologists, medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, specialised radiologists and pathologists who will recommend the most appropriate treatment plan for you. A patient is considered suitable for surgery if he or she has tumours arising from the peritoneum, has primary tumours in the ovary, colon and the appendix with no evidence of disease in organs outside of the abdominal cavity, is medically fit for surgery and anesthesia. Surgical treatment of peritoneal tumours involves a three-step process. Cytoreductive surgery, also known as CRS, peritonectomy and hypodermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy or HIPEC. Cytoreductive surgery aims to remove all visible tumours in the abdomen. Intra-abdominal organs that are infected by tumour and can be safely removed will be resected to ensure that no disease remains. Next, the removal of the peritoneum, also known as a peritonectomy, will be performed. Once the surgical procedures are completed, hypothermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy is administered. Here, a chemotherapy drug is heated and maintained at a temperature of 42 degrees Celsius, then introduced directly into the abdominal cavity to eliminate microscopic tumours that are invisible to the human eye. The entire procedure of cytoreductive surgery in HIPAC can take anything between 4 to 12 hours and it all depends on how much disease there is within the peritoneal cavity. Immediately after the surgery, you'll be nursed in an intensive care or high dependency unit until your condition stabilizes where you will be transferred to the general ward. Your entire hospitalization stay can take anything between 10 to 14 days. Approximately one to two weeks after your surgery, you will be reviewed by your surgeon and or a medical oncologist. Following this, a checkup will take place 
at least once every three months, thereafter once a year. The frequency of these visits will decrease as you get better. To learn more about peritoneal tumours, please visit the National Cancer Centre Singapore website at www.nccs.com.sg